Hey guys, um, today I did this look. It is a um, kind of a sexy purple look and it's um, really bright and it's pretty, it's sexy. I'm wearing it during the day, but I, if you're not comfortable with that, you can certainly tone it down and kind of skip the darker part. You don't have to line the waterline and all that stuff. But I have used products from Coastal Scents, MAC, um, CoverGirl, uh, Stila, all kinds of products. So if you don't have these products, it's okay. You can duplicate them or come as close as you can to duplicating them and probably get a really similar look um, to what I'm wearing. So don't worry if you don't have the exact products, but I will list them in the sidebar if you'd like to know. And so if you want to see, actually the one are the two products that you probably should buy if you do like this look are the lips because I have not found a duplicate for the um, Blooming Lovely and English Accents lip gloss from the um, Liberty of London collection from MAC. It is really, really beautiful uh, color combo, so you might have to splurge on that. But the, all the products will be listed in the sidebar, and if you want to see how to if you want to see how to get this look, just stay okay, tuned. So just for time's sake, I've already done my foundation. I have my eyebrows on and um, also the Urban Decay Primer Potion on my lid. So for this look, I'm going to take the Grease Paint Pencil and this one is the purple one. It was just called V and I suppose that's for violet. That's what it looks like. If you don't have this product, you can use um, a fluid line in a dark purple. I think Macro Violet, you can use that or you can use black, um, the NYX jumbo pencils, anything like that. And I'm going to put it on my finger like this because it's really hard to blend when you put it directly on your eye. And then I'm going to tap it on the lid. And I am going up above the crease with it. I'm going to take an angled brush and go onto the tip of this Griefs paint pencil so that I can put it in the lash line on the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to take this purple matte color called Fashion Groupie. Um, if you got the new color from the Liberty of London, it's very similar, or you know, any shimmery purple color will do. I'm going to do that all on the lid over where I did the grease paint pencil. I'm going to take the angled brush into the purple, put that into the lash line. Then I'm going to take this Coastal Scents um, Hot Pot. It's S05 is the color. It's kind of a taupey, it's a satin taupey color. It's really pretty. It kind of reminds me maybe of Satin Taupe by MAC or maybe Tempting, um, but you just kind of want like a neutral brown kind of satin color. And I'm taking a Coastal Scents Deluxe Crease Brush. This is the Badger, Italian Badger brush. And I'm going to put that right at the top of that purple, right at that bone above the crease and into the crease, just blending it. And I'm going to take another matte color. This is called Grand Entrance. And um, it's just a shimmery kind of light pink color. You can use any shimmery color with a fluffy brush right at the arch, just blending it back and forth. You don't want too much because as you can see it's already shimmery so um, you can wipe off your brush if you put too much and just blend it back and forth. To either side. And I'm going into another Coastal Scents Hot Pot, and this one's M17. It's a matte, real gorgeous And blue. my Sigma um, 219. Actually, I forgot a step before I do that part. <laughs> I'm going to take my grease paint pencil and I'm going to line the waterline. And this is safe for your waterline. Alright, then I'm going to take a Stila Smudge Pot in violet. That's the color. It's bright purple with um, a little bit of shimmer in it. It's gorgeous. And an angled brush. This is a MAC 208. I'm going to line the top lash line, making a, a wing right there. And I'm making this line rather thick. 
I really want it to stand out. Now I'm going to take the Hot Pot um, M17. I'm going to come right on top of that line, kind of going at an angle, like if I was continuing with the liner, and just pulling it over very lightly. I'm using a very light touch to do this a little bit further on the top into the crease very lightly going back with an angled brush into this blue color putting that into the lash line right on the end I'm going to take a 224 brush and blend just little circular motions Okay, now I'm going to curl my eyelash and use my Maybelline, or no, I'm sorry, I always say that, CoverGirl Lash Blast. Okay, so there you have your purple, sexy, smoky, um, blue, I guess it's purple and blue kind of eye. I'll zoom um, out and show you what I used on the rest of my face. Alright, so I've really been using this um, Spring Shine, which is from the Color Forecast Collection quite a bit. It's the brown one. And I have to do like a major huge haul video because I have a ton of um, like new stuff that I've gotten that I've been using a lot. I'll probably maybe just do a favorites. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I've saved it all over here to the side so that I can show it to you guys at some point. But I know I only have 10 minutes to do a video, so it's really difficult. Um, anyway, I'm going to use the 138, the MAC 138. It's the kind of blush contour brush. And I'm going to take it on its side and move it back and forth in this and kind of concentrate my tip on the darker part of this palette. And then I'm going to apply it in a circular motion, kind of where you would a contour. It's obviously going to cover a little more space than that, but that's what I'm going to do, use it for right there. And I'm going to take this new mineral blush. It's the Sun and Moon one. I absolutely love this. I love the way it goes on. It puts just the right amount of like the shimmer kind of blush here and then the extra shimmery like kind of on top. I don't know how it works but it really works and I absolutely love it. I'm using my angled um, blush brush. Coming on the apple of the cheek and bringing it up. Then I'm going to take my Champagne uh, highlighter with my little Kabuki brush and do that right at the highest plane of the cheek. The rest and the end of my nose, forehead, chin, just for symmetry. I'm going to use the Blooming Lovely lipstick with the um, English Accents lip gloss for this look. I'll zoom in so that you can see it. This is from the new Liberty of London. So there you have it with the lipstick and the gloss. Okay, so that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.